So Josh here for Carlton Town TV. Uh, I'm with two guests, uh, committee man Dave Hodgson and the first interview of the season with Mick Garton. Uh, and the topic of today's interview, which is uh, something we're having a chat about the other day, and we didn't really um, know the uh, you know what an achievement it is, is that we've had three managers in 23 years here at Carlton Town, um, and not only that, zero relegations during that. Time. Um, talk to me a bit about that uh, Yeah, uh, it was. It came up in conversation. Uh, it came up in conversation with somebody, and I think I discussed it with you, Dave, funnily enough, uh, a couple of weeks ago. But it came up in conversation with somebody in, in one of my shops. Uh, you know, how long has your current manager been there? Blah blah blah. You don't change your manager very often. And I thought about it, and I thought, well, do you know what? If we went through the whole non-league game and, and, and the football league and the Premiership, I just wonder how many teams have actually got rid or, or let go, you know, how many managers have gone through each club over the years and I don't know the answer but you're absolutely right, we've had three managers in 23 years, my tenure has been 18 years, it's my 18th season, uh, 19th season sorry, and uh, yeah, and you know, Tommy was here 14 years, uh, Les five, uh, and obviously Wayne's now in, well into his fourth season. Uh, and like you say, no relegation. So some I'm, I'm proud of as a as as the chairman of the club that the fact that we, we've we've had that sort of stability. Uh, but it's never been a plan. It's just been the way it sort of panned out. Um, so first of all, Tommy, and obviously lots of success under Tommy. Well, the same as all the managers really. But uh, and we just start there solely. Uh, talk me through. The achievements that Tommy had. Well, when I came to the club, Tommy was already the manager, uh, and it was uh, 2000. And basically, uh, under Tommy, we achieved five promotions in <coughs> excuse me, in the 14 seasons. Uh, four of those were under my tenure. One was I was just coming in. Uh, basically, they got got a promotion. They couldn't go up uh, uh, because the ground wasn't up to scratch. Uh, we needed floodlights, we needed to do several things and unfortunately at that time in my life I was able to contribute and help uh, do that and, and then from there Tommy was able to achieve the, the promotions that he couldn't because the club was held back by the fact that we'd got no funds in and uh, obviously there was an element of what I was able to put in myself and my family but then obviously there, there was an infrastructure that was put in place to, to make sure that we got money coming in on an ongoing basis through fundraising and that helped Tommy uh, to, to it virtually put the final tools into place because he's obviously a very good manager but he was held back. Uh, he took us from the Central Midlands uh, uh, which would have been the Division 1 whatever it was called then or then we went into the Central Midlands Supreme League which is where they were when I came in. Tommy then took us up to the Northern Counties East League, the Northern Counties Premier and then into the uh, Eva Stick where we, we still are today so five promotions uh, in that time four of which were were allowed, and one which wasn't, uh, and then, uh, yeah, you know, it, it was a fantastic journey with Tommy during that time. It, 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 uh, it a lot of smiles, uh, a lot of happy days. The odd fallout. I'm not going to lie about that. There was there was the odd. Tommy's a passionate character, and sometimes we we sort of traded blows on that one. But there was far more happy days than bad days, and uh, I think it, you know he, he's gone on and, and, and carried on. He's had some ups and downs since he's left here. Uh, did fantastic at Colville and now, now he's at uh, Baseford in a new role but Tommy's a football man through and through and uh, when I came to work in when I came to work here the one thing that struck me was in, he was infectious the fact that he he got you on board he got the players on board he got everybody on board with the journey that he wanted to take us on uh, you know and I could sit talk about Tommy and some of the stories for for hours but the, the reality is he got us into this league he got us into the playoffs and I think the time came, he got a fantastic opportunity to go to Hucknall, uh, and uh, who, who were obviously considerably higher than us then, although they've had the bad times since, which I think started around that time with the financial issues they had. Uh, and they sort of fell down the pyramid. The hardest decision was probably replacing Tommy. Uh, that was one of the most drawn out, interesting, fascinating things I've ever been involved with in football. We had 47 people apply for Tommy's job, 47 people. We went through, we had held a committee meeting and we, we got all the, most of them were, were written CVs and, and, and emails and 
we put them all out on the table, the committee, we went round the table, the red, and we put them into various, definitely not, yeah. maybe, possibly, yes to interview, and, and, and we sat there, we had a really good chat, and we interviewed one or two people, we spoke to one or two people on the phone, myself and Chuck, who, who was obviously vice chairman at the time, and, and we narrowed it down, and, and then I had a gut feeling Les was the man, Les McJanet. I went out to see him, uh, I went out to see him at a pub in Mansfield, once, had, uh, once from a personal point of view, I just wanted one more conversation with him, just to, to make me feel that I knew he yeah. was the right man for the job. I went and met him, pub in Mansfield, I came away from that meeting, and I knew then that he was the right man to take us forward. Chuck wasn't completely on board, although he later admitted uh, it was the right decision. He, he fancied one of the other guys that we'd interviewed. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, that was the story how you know, Les came in. And then we had five wonderful years with Les. I think it sounded a little bit in the last year that, that we struggled a little bit in that last season. But Les then built on what Tommy had done by taking us to our highest finish in the pyramid, second in the league. Uh, lost on penalties in the playoffs after coming second above Grantham and Ilkeston uh, to Leek uh, and we went out and then uh, Les went and, 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 and built on that with the first ever senior cup win in a hundred years, 104 years or whatever it was, 110 years, I, I, I think it was 110 years. Uh, the club had never before reached uh, well, we reached the final in Les's first year in Fairless, we lost to Eastwood, but we'd never won the Senior Cup in, in that long history. So we won that, that was, a, that, was a, that was one thing even Tommy hadn't achieved, you know, and uh, I think it always, that was one thing that ate away a little bit at Tommy, he wanted to win that. But Les managed to achieve that, managed to get us a second place finish, and then we went and retained that, I think, uh, the season after next. We, we, we won it, uh, we won it, we beat, uh, uh, I think it was, I'm trying to remember my memory, we, we, was it Renneth, yes. Renneth at uh, Hucknall Town? Still up on the, still up on the highlights. And then say that season, Josh, it had got to the stage where I think we were struggling a little bit. The problem you've got as a chairman, what happened that season when Les put that side together, is we, we, Les had, had been and signed his own players, and, and obviously Mark Clark, who was his assistant, had got his, he got a fantastic contact base as well. And between them, they bought in some new players, bought in good players. Once they'd been here a year and we'd had all that success, the problem that was then hanging on to them was other clubs were coming in, offering more money, and inevitably you were going to lose one or two of those players. Some stayed loyal, obviously more money had to be found, and it, it then almost became difficult. And, and, uh, and Les moved on, a fantastic guy, we, we had the fireworks here. Uh, uh, on Friday night, and, and uh, Les was here with his with his wife Mel, and fantastic guys. Great to see him again, and we've stayed close as as I have with Tommy. Uh, and then obviously Wayne was was an easy decision because Wayne was already in the setup. Wayne was doing a great job at the academy, and had also come on to Les's coaching staff. So Wayne was a was a little bit of an easier decision as, as he was already within the club. Because when Tommy went, because of the loyalty to, of his staff to him, he took he took uh, he, he took pretty much everybody with him. So it was like a fresh start. Under Wayne, uh, I think we probably had a best ever win, which was a win over Baseford in the FA, uh, sorry, in the not senior cup final at Meadow Lane, I think, to, to beat them 4 1 when we were underdogs. Not only win the game, but win it convincingly. Uh, I would say was was possibly, you know, it's put Wayne right up there in, in a sense with, with Tommy and with Tommy and Les in achievement because that was a fantastic win and there were a number of times in that tournament that season where we could have easily have gone out and we just seemed to pull victories from nowhere. I think Danny Gordon in one particular game solely got us through to the the final. Uh, and if I just take it a step beyond to the end of that, uh, the the season after we'd won, the, this actually shows our history repeats itself to a certain extent. Alan Murphy's joined us. Uh, the way it, <laughs> with his lovely music, uh, the way it uh, the way it transpires is after we won the senior cup uh, in that following season, we, we tried to keep the team together, having had that success. But for a variety of reasons, it didn't work out last season. Things started to fall away, and uh, a conscious decision was taken at the start of this season to rebuild. I had a good meeting with Wayne in the summer. And I think we were both on the same page and we, we realised that that squad needed to be sort of broken up. It was already breaking up anyway. 
and it was almost like a, a deja vu scenario and, and obviously here we are now with Wayne and things at the moment are going reasonably well.